Hi, it's Craig, WJ6F. I'm up in the California high desert, and today we're gonna to be looking at the 100 watt alpha loop from Alpha Antenna. We'll get started right after this. Per Alpha Antenna's owner's manual, the model 100 watt alpha loop is a 10 to 40 plus six meter, two meter, and 440 megahertz transmit receive antenna. It's rated at 100 watts PEP SSB, 50 watts for CW, or 10 watt digital. You can also add the additional loop for getting 40 to 80 meters, and that has a power rating of 20 watts sideband and 10 watts CW, 5 watt digital. And you can buy extra things like the bag, a jaw mount. Here we have the extra loop for 40 to 80 meters. They do sell coax in various lengths with different ends on it. In the kit, I got two T connectors, the six coax connectors, and this allows for proper spacing between the two loops. This bar is the spacer to help properly set up the loop antenna. And this is the loop for 10 to 20 meter, a correction, 10 to 40 meters. Here's the control box. This small one here, this is for getting six meter, two meter, and 440. And they have a fully adjustable tripod as well. Let's set this thing up and see if we can make a contact. First part of setting up, you'll go ahead and set up your tripod, attach the control box, and then add the rod for proper spacing. If you're doing 10 to 40 meters, you will use the shorter loop and you will attach it to the top of the coax holder at the top of the bar. After the large loop, you'll put the center feed loop on. And then the last thing you're gonna to wanna to do is hook up your coax cable. Okay, to tune the antenna, what you're gonna do is you're gonna turn this knob until you get the highest sound. You notice there it got quieter. Right there is the highest. Okay, the next part, we're gonna key it up and you're gonna watch the SWR meter here as we fine tune it and you'll watch for the dip. Now hopefully you can see the meter okay. It is pretty finicky. And we're right at about 1.5. Now you can adjust the height of the inner loop on the mast to help fine tune it. And we'll see if lowering it a little might help. Okay, I lowered the inner loop down one level on the connectors on the mast. And as you can see, that pretty much made a one-to-one -one SWR. Now let's try and make a contact. Okay, now we're gonna try 40 meters with just the single loop. Whiskey Juliet 6 Foxtrot. Whiskey Juliet 6 Foxtrot QRP. Whiskey Juliet 6 Foxtrot QRP 492 Napa. Copy 492 Napa, you are 77 San Bernardino. Again? You are number 7 San Bernardino. Number seven, San Bernardino. QSL, QSL, QSL. Thank you for the QRP. Anytime, have a good one, good luck. Good luck, this is Kilo Echo 6 Zulu Sierra November. This is how it's gonna look when you use the optional 40 to 80 meter booster cable. You'll run it on the inside of the original 10 to 40 meter cable using the supplied six 3 8 inch clips. Let's see if we can't make a contact on 40 meters. 
Whiskey Juliet, 6 Foxtrot. Whiskey Japan, 6 Foxtrot, 1118 Santa Cruz. Copy your number three, number three, San Bernardino. Thank you, K6 X ray, X ray. Kilo 6 X ray, X ray, Cal Cuso party. Whiskey Juliet 6 Foxtrot QRP. Uh, Whiskey Juliet 6 Foxtrot uh, again. Whiskey Juliet 6 Foxtrot QRP San Bernardino. All right, uh, Whiskey Juliet 6 Foxtrot QRP uh, 279 Butte. Copy your number four, number four San Bernardino. All right, 04 San Bernardino. Thank you so much for the contact and good luck. Uh, this is November. Let me get this right. November, November, 6 Papa. November, November, 6 Papa. CAQP. Uh, I, I was tempted, Doug, but you seem so happy. Walking away, I just couldn't pass. Okay, now if you want to try and get 6 meters, 2 meters, or 440, you're going to go ahead and attach the 6 meter, 2 meter, 440 element to the inner loop. If you notice, one of the pins is soldered, one is not. We're going to reconnect the T connector to the pin that is soldered. And now you're going to connect the 2 meter, 6 meter, 440 element to the side of the inner loop that is not soldered. And then you hook it back up to the loop and try and make as much of a loop out of it as possible. Now to tune this, you're going to slide this piece up and down to get the best SWR. Let's try it out and see if it works. Hope you can see right here the SWR is a wee bit high. So we'll slide this around and see if we can't lower that a bit. Okay, it looks like we've improved it there. We're down to 1.5. That's about as good as I'm going to get it right now. First, we'll try this on simplex, see if we can hear ourselves. Testing, one, two, three, testing, one, two, three. Testing, testing, one, two, three. Whiskey Juliet, six Foxtrot. After several minutes of sliding the element around, this is how it wound up looking. After several minutes of adjusting the element back and forth, I was able to get the SWR to below 1.5. As you can see, this antenna works very well on all bands from 10 meters all the way up to 80, including 2 meter 440 and 6 meters. I really appreciate you taking the time to watch this video. If you have any comments, questions, or concerns, please leave them in the comment section below. If you haven't done so already, please subscribe. And don't forget to click on the bell so you'll be notified each time I upload a video. If you'd like to help support the channel, there's a Patreon link in the description area. And while you're here, check out one of these other videos. And thanks again for watching.